it's our great pleasure to um, to meet you, Professor Fox, in um, in, in Broswell, and uh, it's great that you that you, that you made it, even even though the times are difficult today. Uh, and I, ju I just wanted to ask you about your um, your research. You're um, you're famous for your field research. Would you would you mind telling us a few words about your uh, field research in um, in Mexico? Well, I actually have two projects in Mexico that I'm working on simultaneously. The first is easy to describe. It is uh, I'm working on a grammar and dictionary of a language soon to be extinct, a moribund language that is spoken in the state of Tabasco, Mexico, called Ayapa Soque. And I've been working on this language for about 10 years. I go down every other summer. Uh, and now, of course, um, there's been an interesting new development, which is that um, my informants have acquired telephones, and they now call me in the United States, and so I sometimes ask them questions about their language by telephone, but I do prefer to go down there. I have written a computer program that makes it easier to compile a dictionary and uh, to analyze it, so I'm simultaneously working on that computer program as well, hoping to extend it to other languages in need of documentation. I began that work as a member of a team, an NSF-sponsored team, that um, the, Mesoameri the Southern Mesoamerican Languages Documentation Project. And we, they were working on about, in the end, maybe 30 or so languages um, and I have cut, now I no longer have support from that team. They've run out of money, but I still go down and do the work. And uh, I think that I'll have a dictionary published within a year or so. I'm almost done. The second major project is that I am working on the decipherment of minor writing. And um, I have been working now for a few years on the inscriptions of Chichen Itza, which is a major Mayan archaeological site in Yucatan. And they had a special version of the Mayan writing system there. It was, um, and I've been able to show that it's written in the Yucatec Maya language quite phonetically. Um, they, they wrote more phonetically than the other Maya did. So I'm writing a book on that, and um, that is almost done as well. So a lot of other projects in, them, in my head that are going to come later, but... These are the two I'm working on right now. Um, thank you very much, and it's great having you here. Thank you. Thank you, Coach.